A random act of kindness, no matter how small, can make a tremendous impact on someone else's life. Treat everyone with politeness and kindness, not because they are nice, but because you are. Roy T. Bennett, from The Light in the Heart. Hello, my friends, Tony here, and we are back for more Heavy Rain drama. The quote in the beginning was dedicated to the unsung hero without a cape, Scott Shelby. He is the nicest character and every single chapter he is about to save someone's day and I am sure there is more of it. Let's continue the story of our brave and wonderful private detective. A visitor. It's evening already, and look at the inches. Hmm. Time to wake up, Scott. Come on, man. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. Started up again. I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. So, he has been investigating this case for how long? Many couple of years, when, when they started. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. Yeah, exactly. No need for that now. Hmm. Inhaler. Um. Yeah, I guess. So, what do we do? It's his office, I take it. I doubt that... Actually, maybe it's his home, and he turned his home into an office. So, last time, Scott Shelby... Lit. Mother Shelby. Hmm. It seems that the city where the game is happening is nameless, however, the field research for the game was done in Philadelphia, and David Cage hired the same location scout who worked on the Philadelphia movie, you know, the one with Tom Hanks, 
So the environment of Heavy Rain game is hugely impacted and uh, inspired by Philly. Actually, never knew that Philadelphia looks like this. So yeah, it looks like he is an ex-policeman and retired policeman maybe, I don't know. Something happened, well, maybe, maybe he wasn't happy with his job. I still feel that there is something, something personal in this case for Scott Shelby. Hmm. Let's check the kitchen. Small apartment, but it's good. Old school fridge. Do we have something to healthy to eat? Uh, not really. Oh, and we have a visitor. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Oh. Can I come in? Sure. I wasn't expecting you, to be honest. I wasn't even expecting this. This was a front door. I thought it was a toilet or something. Let me take your coat. Please, take a seat. Yeah, we ain't going to drink. I mean... Didn't really expect to see her again. Yeah, exactly. Wonder what she wants. I, I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Hmm. Alan Winter. Oh, not particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Um, is it it? Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. What? Um... I'm sorry, Lauren, but that is out of the question. Yeah. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Yeah, it's dangerous. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? Are we partners, Mr. Shelby? <sighs> yes, We're we partners. are. Yes, we are. Nice. It seems like it's another chapter, but we will continue. So keep watching, guys. Now, this is about some noir detective story.
Yeah, another chapter, as I said, and it's Scott Shelby. So we are continue playing. Hmm. Let's get out of the car and find out what is this place exactly. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Hmm. What was that? What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Yeah, so stick with me, please. Don't need to sleep, split up in this place. Stupid to bring Lauren. Yeah. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. Yeah. The security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Yeah, let's go. Oh, great. It really is a party. Quite an odd one. What a joint! Kramer must be loaded! What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go yeah. find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back, okay? Okay. Just let me know if you need me. Yeah, I really feel uncomfortable here. Uh, music's a little loud, isn't it? Um, okay. Hi, I'm Scott. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Yeah, I don't even know who he is, where he is. Oh, he's it's like, mm. hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. <laughs> Guys, does anyone know? Have you seen Gordy? Sorry, no. Um. No. Not looking for this game. Um, excuse me. Does anyone know? Hey Ooh. Matt, you think you could help me out? Huh. Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here! Okay, excuse me. Hmm. I hope Lauren is still here somewhere. Hmm. Okay, guys. Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? Why bother throwing the party then? Why don't you go ask him? Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe he's behind those guys. Hello, gentlemen. Um. Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Mm, let's persist. Look. You just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to him, okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. Um, yeah, it didn't work. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Okay. Hey. Excuse me. 
I'm looking for Gordy. I saw him going upstairs a while ago. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. Yeah, thanks. So what do we do? And where is Laura? Those two goons and me seeing Gordy don't mix. Gonna have to think of another way to get rid of them. Um, maybe diversion? Got to find a way to get them away from the stairs. Long enough for me to be able to slip past. Oh, yeah. So where is Lauren? I guess I may use her help. Lauren. I use her somewhere. Oh guys, you're disgusting. Oh great. Nice way to sleep. Hmm. Can't find Laura. Hey dude, careful. Oh, there she is. Oh, excuse me. Laura. So did you find Gordy? He's upstairs. I got two goons blocking the way. Do you want me to handle them? Yes, please. Hey, what are you gonna do? Knock him out with a pair of high heels. Leave it to me! Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs. Oh, thanks. Shabby, it's your turn. Your turn. Oh. Easy. Careful. Yeah, don't mind me. Just Miss. Kind of Miss, are you all right? Yeah. Hey, wake up. Shit. Another one's gonna OD on the dance floor. Shelby, just make it quick and easy. Nice trick, Laura. We gotta get her out of here. Oh, where is this dude? Maybe here? Nope. This episode is <laughs> is quite the old one, to be honest. I wasn't expecting all of this. Mm. Where to go? How to find this Gordy? Maybe he is somewhere here, but I cannot open the door. I have to find uh, an, another way. Maybe go through the window, like on the left here. Mm. He is in there as well. I'm not even sure anymore that I went the right way, to be all honest.
Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought he was playing a video game. Um, Gordy, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. Right. <laughs> um, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. Well, the kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can't believe. Come on, man. Be honest. Very well. I'm the origami killer. Sure. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Oh, Get yeah. rid of this clown! Oh shit. Oh guys. Come on. Oh. I expect to follow this. Right. I mean, is this truly is an organic killer? It's oh. a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger, and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. Ah. <sighs> You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Well, that was a nice show, but I don't really understand what was the point of it. I'm pretty sure he's not an origami killer. <laughs> but this dude is just sick in a really, really bad way. I hope Lauren is okay, though. Uh, yeah. I hope she is. So, that's where we will end this episode.
Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you are, please take some time and leave a comment down below. I I really a little bit confused to be honest. I I wasn't that talkative, but it was nice to have some progression and this time Scott Shelby got himself into some trouble, I think. Anyway, if you have some time, please leave a comment down below. I love reading you guys. Stay awesome, be healthy, and until next time, my friends, bye-bye.